Uh, hey everybody, feeling a little bit better, so I figured I'd make a quick little video about dimensioning. Um, I don't personally use the auto dimension tools, so um, when I do, they tend to, I mean, they pick up correctly because I have them set up a certain way, but oftentimes I'm going to uh, run my elevations side by side on a layout page. And so I don't need dimensions on both sides of every single view because if I'm um, if I'm lining these up from left to right, right to left, then I only need dimensions on one side unless I've got some elevation changes. So it doesn't make sense to me to be using auto dimensions all the time. So I don't do it. And also, it um, you'd have to change dimension defaults if you wanted a dimension in a plan view versus an elevation. Uh, when you consider the offsets and you can see how high up this particular dimension string is, right? So that doesn't make a ton of sense. So the, the thing that I like to do is I just use auto dimensions and I use two tools. One is a manual dimension tool and it's got set to a really low reach and I just drag it through the middle of the cabinet run like that. Now I don't need to reference the wall on the right hand side in this case because I'm building off of the left hand side and that's really as a builder that's what I'd be doing anyway. So I could care less about reference to the right hand side because probably the case is that it's not accurate anyway so um so i'm going to use the manual dimension tool to do just exactly what i need and that's it and then maybe i've got a little bit of cleanup the next thing i do is i snap this to the floor and then i drag it again and i set it to what i want my offset to be which is maybe 24 inches or 18 inches um, just depending on the look and feel of that particular draft set right and then the next thing I might do is I might use an end-to-end -end dimension tool and just grab the end of the cabinet run and snap this to the previous leader and then add maybe an additional 12 inches. All right, so there we go. I've got an end-to-end -end dimension run. Maybe I want to show center line, so I might just do a little bit of you know pick up and clean up dimensions here where I'm going to pick up the center line of this and I'm paying attention to the snaps that I'm getting on this particular item because I want to make sure I am getting to center line there. So, um, and if you don't know your snaps, just take a look in your preferences and you'll see what those um, snap settings are. And then easy enough to open this up, change that extension line. This is extension line number six, right? So in our subsequent dialogue, we're going to get into our extension markers, extension six, mark as center line, simple enough. And then I want to click on that line and I'm probably going to bring this back down. So. There we go, there's my center line dimension. If I wanted another dimension string just to pick up that this is 30 inches, I could. I don't think that I really care about that. And then the same process for these uppers, right, is I'm gonna pick this dimension line up, snap it to here, bring it up from there, got my 18 inch offset. And then I might do the end to end, but more than likely I would not. I would just have some annotations saying that in this case, I'm centering this cabinet about the center of our hood here, so. And then if this was an end dimension, like if I was gonna cut this view off, so I'm gonna edit that active view and I wanna clip it. So um, clip to room is checked right now, but let's just uncheck clip to room and then I'm able to come in here to the other side wall, flip this back to where I want it. And then maybe I want some elevation string where I'm gonna pick up this elevation over here, bring this over and I might change my extensions again. I might just bring this back because it's just an, an implied dimension string, right? So kind of understand where we're getting these dimensions from so I don't necessarily need the long legs in this case. So a little bit of cleanup, not too much. And really this goes pretty quickly when you have this set correctly. So um, so this takes in account a, a very low reach, the manual dimension tool with all your settings set up the way that you want them and an end to end dimension tool. And then I'm gonna stack this next uh, cabinet run, which is my sink run, right next to this in layout, and I'm going to make sure that I'm using a plot lines and I'm doing a point to point move so that the floor is lined up. And then it looks crisp and clean across all sheets. And then from one layout page to a next, if I have another set of wall elevations, I'm going to make sure that the floors line up across that page as well to this page that might have my kitchen elevations. So um, this is kind of how I set up my dimension strings. I've got no problems here. If you're having problems with dimensions with the cabinets in any particular view, it might be that you're not properly bumping your cabinets. It might be that you have spaces or gaps or whatever else. So let's just say, for instance, this um, double cabinet was, you know, off the mark. It was, you know, pulling some weird dimension lines. Well, so all I'm going to do is I probably re-pull this string for one, but 
in this case, we'll just pick this up. I can sometimes just drag a cabinet way far away if it's got some weird number in between it. And I want to drag it way far away just so I can come in here, select the cabinet, and then choose that dimension string and make sure it's set to an absolute zero. So now I know it's in the correct place and I haven't picked up any additional dimension strings and I can go through and run this line again if I needed to. So um, easy thing to do if you've cleaned up one part of it, bring this back into that field. You're going to hit this continuation um, edit handle right here. You can drop this back and then bring it back forward. Simple enough. And then we're just going to drag this back and that 18 inches. And then I might have to redo that center line if I wanted to. Okay. So that's it. Hopefully that's helpful.